Welcome back, Magic the Rescuing fans, and welcome to the third edition of trying to get the full set of Ikoria. We've got another booster box here of Ikoria. We've got Treebeard here to help. We've got the Terrapin Moon, which has been lucky for us. Um, we're going to try to get the 16 cards that have eluded us. Um, some are kind of weird that I haven't gotten any yet, like the Dirge Bat. And then some, you know, the Fiend Artisan, some of the Apex, Vadrock, uh, Luna, Brokos. Haven't gotten those yet. I'm looking for a Vivian, uh, Nethroy, Kin and Bonder Prodigy. Um, so we're looking for all those cards, trying to get the complete set in the process of opening up these boxes. And then whatever doubles we get, we're going to post on our Mercari for sale. And hope you guys check that out. It'll be in the links below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It's very important for us. We'll put Tree Beard up to the side here. We'll see how many uh, mythics we pull. Uh, I think I got five mythics out of the last box. Correct me if I'm wrong. And we'll see if we can get to the six or seven. That would be really nice. And don't forget that all the proceeds from Mercari and anything that we make doing this stuff all goes to help support opening up the rescue ranch that we want to do in the future. Um, so again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's get straight into this. I won't spend too much time on the commons and uncommons. And then we'll save the good old box topper for last. Put it over here. Tree beer can hold on to that. Here we go. Straight into it. Okay, starting off with the token on the top and then always to the island. Whisper Squad Foil to start out. Very cool. And Luris of the Dream Den. Nice card, but it's a duplicate. Alright, Sprite Dragon. Love those Sprite Dragons. Evolving Wilds. Alright, I'm going to move pretty quickly through this and really only pay attention to the rares and mythics. We'll still show you the commons and uncommons. Companion, Rugged Highlands, what is going on here? Two foils in a row and a foil alternate, alternate there, Chittering Harvester. Wow, that could mean very good things for this pack, for sure, for this box. And the Ozolith. Very good rare. These are some good rares to start off here. We're starting off really good on this box. Necro Panther. Ferocious Tigerilla. My wife's favorite card. Just kidding. What is going on here? We have gotten a foil out of every single pack so far. This is not normal. This is a foil rare. You guys are seeing this, right? Okay, so foil in the first three packs. One was a foil alternate art. Death's Oasis is the rare. This would be really cool and really weird if we continue on this trend. Counters. Tranquil Cove. <laughs> and our first mythic, and it's the mythic, but it's the mythic that's the alternate art. The Luna Apex of Wishes. I have not gotten one of these yet. I'm looking for the regular one, but we got the alternate art. Again, maybe that's bodes well for us. All right, we'll put that up here as our first mythic. No foil in that one though. No foil in that pack. Maybe it was just the first three. I was getting a little weirded out there. I thought we were going to pull a foil in every single pack. And we have stopped that trend, so it was just the first three. Okay. Hunted Nightmare for our rare. I love 
love the Far Finder. I'll stop every once in a while because these cards are just so cool. All right. Oh, there we go. That's one we needed, and that's our second Mythic, Vadrock, Apex of Thunder. Awesome. He's a very cool elemental dinosaur cat legendary creature. Very nice. Alternate art there, the Boneyard Lurker. I don't think I have that alternate art yet. Huh. That's a cool one. Only means good things for this box. We've been doing really good so far here. Island. Labyrinth Raptor as the rare. Cool card, Polywog Symbiote. Alternate Art Auspicious Starix. Alright. Two Mythics. Not even past our first stack yet. Oh, and a Pouncing Shore Shark foil. That's going to be our fourth foil, though. That's a good amount of foils there. Lava Brink Venturer for our rare. No Triumphs yet. That's a surprise. Gigantha the Wellspring as our rare. Always a cool card. I want to see somebody's Gigantha deck. I think that that's a really cool thing, but I haven't been able to put it together yet. Ominous Seas, what a great card. Fantastic card. Alright, two packs left on the first stack. Oh, and another foil, so we're about five foils so far. Jungle Hollow. And then the rare's Offspring's Revenge. The Valiant Rescuer. I like to consider myself that for the future. When we open up our rescue ranch, there I am, rescuing the dinosaurs. Volta Keats, Ultron Dart. Oh, I lied. There's two more left now. We were to three, now we're to two for the first stack. Oh, and there's the Cub Warden. I needed the Cub Warden. Awesome. There's another rare that I need, so that's two that I need so far. Now we're only down to 14 individual cards that I need to complete the set. Alright, last pack and the first stack. First stack has been pretty awesome, I must say. And there's another foil. So we're at six foils so far. Definitely a lot of foils coming out of this box. Day Squad Marshal. Zerta the Dawn Waker, the legendary elemental fox. Such a cool card for our rare. The Boot Nipper. I have one of those that lives in this house. If you haven't checked out our Instagram, go to at Magic the Rescuing, and you can see which boot nipper I'm talking about. Bitsy, my little cattle dog. And our rare is the Voracious Great Shark. Cool. An Archipelago, alternate art. So far, two mythics, six foils. 
one of the foils is a rare foil. Pretty cool box so far. Skycat Sovereign's going to be our rare. I do like the Titanic Rex. Very cool card. I love all the art. Survive Thundermane. It's just jam-packed with just goodness. Don't forget about that Whisper Squad. Really hot card right now. There he is, the elusive Dirge Bat, and we're on our third card that I've needed out of the 16. Now we're down to 13. I've heard him called the Dingbat. He's been very elusive until just now. Oh, trumpeting Gnar alternate art. There's another foil on our seventh foil now, Mutual Destruction. And there he is, the elusive Mythic Fiend Artisan. Best card in the, in the series. And I needed him, and I got him. Third Mythic. Fourth card that I needed. We are on a roll today. We're doing good today. On a roll, doing an awesome job here. This is a great box. I'm really surprised at all of the foils that we're getting. It's for sure had to be a mistake, a mispack or something like that. It's a lot of foils. Genesis Ultimatum. I'm looking for the inspired one. I've got the Genesis already. Avian Oddity. Such a cool card. We got a lot coming up in the Magic community. 2021 is right around the corner. The core set. Jump start right after that. Double Masters. That's what I'm waiting on. Right after that. Umori, the Collector, is our rare. I think the thing I'm most excited for, though is the Commander Draft Set that's coming. I think it's coming in Q4. If you guys want to leave a comment in the comments below and tell me what you're most excited for coming up on the Wizards calendar there. I'd like to hear from you guys. I think Double Masters is mine. Okay, Mythos of Nethroi is our rare. Splendor Mare, love that card. There's another Whisper Squad. I think we almost have a full place at a Whisper Squad in this box. A jungle Hollow. Obosh the Prey Piercer. That's our rare. Bastion of Remembrance. That's a good card. along here. Big old stack of commons and uncommons to slide you to the side there. Give me a little more room. Alright, we are almost through the second stack. Moving quick with the shark token. On our island, and then a foil, another one. That'll be our eighth foil. Zagoth crystal. Oh. And right behind that, our first. And the Zagoth Triome Extended Art. That's our first Triome of the box. A little, almost two-thirds of the way through there. Monstrous Step. Evolving Wilds. Okay, three more packs in the second stack. Zagoth Triome, second Triome, regular one on, on this one. I need the Indatha, that's the only regular one that I'm missing. Put that up in the Triomes 
spot there. Pouncing Shore Shark alternate art. Okay, almost two thirds. Two more packs left on the second stack. Still only three mythics though. We slowed down quite significantly. Frondlin Felidar for the rare. Ragoth Mamba, watch out for him. Oh, and the Shark Typhoon. I needed the Shark Typhoon. Number five. Awesome. Fifth card that I needed. We are now making some progress here. Huntmaster Liger. And we are on to the final stack. And the good old alternate art Cloud Piercer at the end. Final stack. Last leg of the race. Not want me to open it. That's weird. The ruinous ultimatum. That's two ultimatums. There's the rare. Another whisper squad. I think that that does it. I think that that's four whisper squads. Anybody counting? I think that might be the play set in this box. Here we go with another foil. That's the ninth foil, Cathartic Reunion. Oh, very nice rare, the Song of Creation. And I needed that one too, number six. There we go, we're now down to 10 cards that we need for the full set of Ikoria Lair of Behemoths. So cool, so close, yet so far away. All right, where are my mythics at? Mythos of Aluna, very nice card. Love the art on all the Mythos, it's so cool. The Flourishing Fox. Mythos of Brokos. Okay, very cool card. I'm missing the Mythos of Snapdax. Huntmaster Liger alternate art. All right, getting down to it. Another shark token. And a foil forest. I love a foil land. Very cool. These lands are so cool. I think I'm just going to hoard all these lands and keep them for forever. Bonder's Enclave is our rare. Anybody get the secret layer that had the Godzilla lands in it? I didn't get it. I'm wondering if I made a mistake because I love these Ikoria lands so much. They're just cool. I mean, even the dual lands that, you know, come into play tap, they're still cool. I want to put them in my deck so bad. All right, Savai Triome. There's our third Triome. Not the Indatha that we need, but the Savai, that's a cool card. And our third Triome, there we go. We've caught up on the Triomes now. Evolving Wilds. Alright, down to our last six packs. The Kraken token for that ominous seas card. There we go, another foil. I believe that that's number 10, Spontaneous Flight. And then a Whirlwind of 
thought for our rare. Very cool. Five packs left. Three mythics. We're gonna pull pull the mythics out at the end here, like the mystery booster box that we opened. Unpredictable Cyclone for the rare. Very nice. Migratory Great Horn alternate. All right, four packs left. There it is. Inspired Ultimatum. That's the one I needed. So that's going to be seven cards that I got out of this. Out of the 16 that I needed, we're down to nine that we need for the full set. I like him. Prickly Marmoset. Creepy but cool. And we have done a good job here. A little low on the Mythics, but who knows? Maybe we'll pull a couple out of this last... Last few cards here. And then the Cub Warden alternate art. Very cool for the rare. The Glowstone Recluse uh, alternate art. Don't forget, we still have a box topper left. I'm going to have to get used to that. I think they're going to be doing it in every single set now, which I think is the coolest. Started with Ultimate Masters. Okay, we got another foil. That'll be our 11th foil, I believe. Proud Will Bonder. And then the rare Sea Dasher Octopus. Okay, last pack before the box popper. What do we got? There we go. Cannon Bonder Prodigy for the last pack. Needed that, and it's another mythic for our fourth mythic. That's pretty phenomenal. I'm down to eight cards now, so I cut my number in half with this one box. Down to eight cards, and now we're down to the good old box topper. I've been really, really, really wanting a Ghidorah. Last time we got a Death Corona. I'm gonna be really careful with these. There we go. Only one card in here, so it's very easy to bend. All right, what's it gonna be? All right, here we go. And the Armored Killer, Womp Womp. The alternate Gem Razor and Foil Box Topper. Very cool box. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. If you like it, like it. If you love it, subscribe. Thanks for watching, watching Magic the Rescuing.